Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going Q3 of the bi weekly contest 66 minimum cost homecoming of a robot in a grid. Um, yeah, I don't know. I would say, yeah, I don't. Uh, so I solved this one during the contest, as you can see. And I would say that it took me about six, seven minutes. Um, and you see that a lot of people did it much quicker. Um, I just wasn't sure how to understand this one, to be honest. Um, and you could watch me solve it live during the contest, um, you know, after the explanation. Um, but before that, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Um, yeah, join me on Discord if you want to talk about this problem, other problems. Uh, there are a lot of chatters on, on the code contest, so definitely join me on there. Um, but yeah, but I think this one is kind of um, just pretty awkward in the way that constraints are set up. Um, so the first thing to notice is that the number of rows and columns is 10 to the fifth. So your first intuition may be thinking that you can do a, a breath first search. And if you did do a breath first search, it's going to time out because um, the grid is going to be 10 to the fifth square, pretty much, right? Which is 10 to the tenth. Um, the second thing, to, and th this is the part that I'm really confused about uh, during the contest when I was going over trying to figure out how to read this problem is that um, it, it seems to me very obvious, um, almost in a way that um, I slowed down really deliberately and you could kind of watch me do the contest um, because I wasn't sure that I was, because it was almost too simple, but my math isn't good enough to be certain about it, uh, if that makes sense. Um, but the the the, the, um, the observation, which we'll make in a second, is that um, you only have to care about the components. Uh, I'll prove this in a, or maybe not a proof, but I'll visualize this in a sec. Um, but, um, but yeah, but, but I wasn't sure, like I was just, I thought it was maybe too easy almost, you know, uh, for Q3 that I second doubt, especially since my math isn't good, I had to check on my math myself. Um, but yeah, but that's pretty much it. Um, the, the, the basic observation is that you, um, if you go one dimension to the uh, down or right or whatever left up down left right, um, you only have to care about the components. And I'll show this in a sec um, with a with a diagram. Let me let me draw this out. Hang on a second. But yeah, while I set this up, feel free to. Uh, join the Discord or something like that. I don't know. Um, okay. Uh, let's. Okay. So let let let's say let's say I have. Hmm. Wait. Let me copy. This. So let's say I have something like this, right? Um. The short answer is that let's say. Let's say. Um. You know. So there there are a number of ways you can go. There's this way that. Oh. Hmm. Hang on. So there's this way that they show you. There's you know pretty much every Manhattan you know uh, binomial e um, what's it called Pascal triangle type thing right. Like if you've done it, you could have also gone this way. You could have also gone this way, and you could have also gone this way right. And the thing to notice is that if you look at all the all the um, all the y component, which is the one going uh, maybe that's the x component. Doesn't matter the row component. Um, if you look at them, then it just means that you you go here once, right? No, this is the same. And also, if you go to the right, you go go to the right once, you go to the right once, and you go to the right once. Uh, no matter which path you take, if you kind of decompose it, that's the the cost. If you look at the formula that they give you, right? Um, and that's basically the idea: is that you only have to, you know, um, it almost doesn't matter which, yeah. The short answer is it doesn't matter which path you take, the sum is going to be the same. As long as you don't loop over, because obviously if you go up and then you go down, that's going to cost you more. So as long as you take like the Manhattan distance, the Manhattan path, maybe that's the way. I don't know if that's the, the, the terminology. But the shortest path, Manhattan distance, why that will give you the same distance. So that's basically the idea and the code will come um, pretty directly you could write a for loop if you like but that's basically the idea um is that you just sum over the row component and then the the column component 
Um, one trick case that you may get a little bit sloppy on is that, um, you know, the home, the end position may be to the left or maybe it can be up or it could be, you know. So you have to account for that by by doing the uh, doing things in the right direction. Um, and of course, if you're already there, um, you know, you don't add a zero, or, you know, just don't add anything or whatever um, in the in that component. Like if you have to go straight down, make sure that you don't add anything on the X. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, in terms of time, this is going to be O of O of R plus C because in the worst case, um, that's just going to be, you know, you have to look at the entire row, uh, whoops, row array and the columns array. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, you get, you can, um, you can kind of say that mine is kind of linear space because I do a slice instead, but eh, you could you could write a for loop if you like. So yeah, um, one thing I would also say though is that for this problem, yeah. So this is one edge case is that you know you have to, you have to take account going up and down and left and right, um, and they're a little bit different. Um, and the other thing I would say is a common trick is to assume that it is symmetric and flip the x and the y, but but that's a gotcha. So for this particular problem, um, it is not symmetric, meaning that if you go from the beginning to home, um, it's not the same as going from the home to beginning. Um, and the reason why that is, so you may try to do a shortcut and get it wrong. Um, and I was thinking about this, but, and the reason is because the costs are different in this screen, right? Meaning that if you go from one to two, it's not the same as going from two to one. Um, and because of that, it is not symmetric at all, the, the cost. So you have to be careful about it. Um, but yeah, but otherwise, I think for me, I was just overly cautious for this one because I wasn't sure about, um, I don't know, I was just not very really sure about myself for this one. I mean, I don't think this was that hard. Um, but yeah, like I said, I wasn't that sure. Um, so yeah, um, cool. Um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Um, and you can watch me solve a live during the contest next. Okay. I was worried about that one to be honest. Can just do a by first search. We do now, man. I'm understanding this problem. Okay.
Come on, get that one. Backwards. Six, two, eight, fourteen plus nine. That's not right, right? Plus four. Oh, this is messed up. Uh, what? Well, that's a good catch, though. Oh, 14, 16, plus 20. Okay. Cool, okay. Let's give it a submit. Not sure about this one. Okay. Whew. Hey, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem, the explanation. How did you do? Did, um, yeah, everything you like. Anyway, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. Have a great weekend or whatever day it is when you're actually watching. Um, to good mental health and take care. Bye-bye.